Marie Taglioni was born on April 23, 1804 in Stockholm, Sweden, to Filippo and Sophie Taglioni. She was born into a well-known dance family, with her father and uncle, Filippo and Salvatore respectively, both being professional choreographers. Marie started to study ballet at a very early age under a Parisian ballet instructor. However, she was rejected, being called an ugly duckling. The instructor refused to keep teaching her when she was six, saying, Will that little hunchback ever learn to dance? After their rejection, Marie's father decided to train her himself. He had put her through very vigorous training, six hours of dancing every day. It has been said that Marie was so weak and tired after the training sessions that she required help at night to undress and get ready for bed. Filippo's training was unique in the way that he instructed her to execute her movements. He requested that Marie use a modest, light, and delicate style. The training of her father, although excessively strict, was what led to the success and fame of Marie. Marie Taglioni made her dance debut when she was 18 years old in Vienna, Austria. She performed a piece choreographed by Filippo and received immediate recognition of her talent. She danced for several years in Vienna and then traveled to Germany where she frequently performed in major cities. She then traveled to Paris and debuted at the Paris Opera on July 23, 1827 with Ballet de Cilician. Marie Taglioni is known for pioneering the Romantic era of dance. Her style is characterized as floating leaps, balanced poses, and a delicate, restrained use of body movement, which became the generalization of the Romantic ballet style. She became the first star of the Romantic ballet era through her main role of La Sophide. This ballet, choreographed by Marie's father, was performed on March 12, 1832, at the Paris Opera. The choreography, the plot encompassing the idea of reality versus fantasy, caused Filippo to be marked as the father of the Romantic ballet style. This was the first ballet where the ballerina danced on point for the work's entirety, therefore giving credit to Taglioni for the creation of point dance. However, she did not actually dance on point shoes, but rather ballet slippers, which is even more challenging without the reinforcement of the block. The costume of the piece also became a trademark of the Romantic ballerina. Taglioni wore an ankle-length white tutu in the piece in order to expose her footwork. Through the major aspects of the performance of La Sophide, Taglioni rose to fame and became the model for the Romantic Ballet era, immersing into the dance world with a completely unique and never-before-seen style. In 1837, Marie left the Paris Opera to take a three-year contract in St. Petersburg at the previously named Imperial Ballet. There, she performed with, with Lucille Grand, Carlotta Grizzi, and Fanny Cerrito and Patacatre, and was one of the original four members of the piece. Ten years later, she retired and took residence in Venice. Even with her previous fame, she did not live an, extraordinar an, ex an extraordinarily life in her later years. With the misuse of money on her father's part, the family went bankrupt. She continued to work in the dance field, teaching social dances to children and society ladies, as well as instructing a small number of ballet students. She continued to teach until her death because she couldn't make compensation. She died on April 24, 1884 in France. Marie Taglioni's delicate and light choreographic execution had led to the rise of romantic ballet, mainly due to her lead role in La Sophide. She created a new style and fashion that left a lasting impression on dance culture in Europe and then later worldwide. 